Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So, wanted to start a new series, which is going to be Race for the Heisman on NCAA Football 2006. So, um, obviously, this is on the PS2, so uh, if you guys haven't seen a game like NCAA 06 or haven't played a game like that in a while, then it's, uh, it's a little bit of a change at first. You used to it after a while. Uh, if you played NCAA 14, that one... That one has pretty good graphics, even though they didn't come out with it for the new generation consoles. So, um, I am going to go through, the obviously, the one practice drill you have to go through first, depending on the position you pick. I ended up picking scrambling quarterback, and you do basically like an option drill. You don't really throw the ball at all to do the practice drills. And uh, I do end up walking on to Tennessee, so that was my plan the entire time. Oh, cool. Alright, so, uh, sorry about that, but, yeah, so, obviously, as you guys can see, if you remember this game, then when you start on Race for the Heisman, you go through your, uh, basically the equivalent of spring drills first on what would, uh, what would be for Dynasty. So, um, obviously I chose the name Andy, um, Andy Millie, so, yeah, just chose a random name, and, yeah, I showed you the controls and everything. You do the option attack drill, and uh, I did all right on it. But I just wanted to give you guys a little intro on my uh, little preseason drills before I uh, before I went on to anything else. Obviously, I haven't. It had been a while since I played this game, so um, a lot of this was a little bit rough. Go get a pitch here. There we go. That one was all right. Um, only it was this easy to outrun the people in the actual game. Would be pretty nice. But um, yeah, I remember one of the bigger problems with me on this game was just trying to pitch it too late. This isn't just on this game. It's also on NCA fourteen or yeah, NCA fourteen is me fumbling. It's one of my biggest problems on that game. So, um, yeah. When it comes to the actual season, I'll actually, like, you know, skip through all this stuff with you guys. Um, not, but, like, through. Think of how to say this. Skip through the uh, plays in between. So, basically, like, uh, when you play NCA. 14, 13, 12. I think it even goes down to like 09. There's a like clock rundown um, in between plays. It might run down like two, two or three. Well, actually, it's more than two or three seconds. In NCA 14, unless you change it, it runs down to 30 seconds. And then in, I'm saying 13, it runs down to 25 when you're on default. But I can't really 100% remember that. So, uh, Obviously, go through and edit my player. Uh, I gave him my first name. Uh, made him from not not from my hometown, but from um, my college town right now. And I wanted to play. I, I wanted to do Oklahoma State on this one, but uh, Oklahoma State's not a very. Not only are they not very good on this game, it's just. I, I've played with them a couple times on this game. I actually ran through with them on a uh, on a game before this, and it's it's not even Boone Pickens Stadium yet. It's still Lewis Field, uh, the forty thousand seat capacity. It is cool. It actually has the backdrops of campus on it. You can see the uh, there's a dorm called Bennett Hall up to the basically if you're driving towards what looks like a giant like arena. It's Gallagher Ibe Arena. It's their basketball stadium. And uh, when you're driving towards that, if you look up to the top left, you see a uh, you see a, like a building popping over the top, and that's one of the dorms, Bennett Hall. I guess it was still around in 2005. And uh, if you flip around, um, I can't remember which building it is. It's right next to the mail building, so uh, that's pretty cool. But um, I think Boone Pickens Stadium was about 
three or four years off from being extended uh, into the 60,000 seat stadium capacity that it is now. I think, I'm not sure if Gallagher, Iba, I think they had built their uh, extension up on that already. But i uh, go through a little bit more of my customization here. Uh, they don't ha quite have the new helmets yet. I think the newest ones they have are the Pro Revolutions. Um, so, I get, I, I try to make my guy most similar to me in real life. Uh, I'm about 6'2", 180, so 6'3", um, 190. Give himself a little bit more leeway on there. Um, never been one much for like the elbow pads or anything like that, so uh, give him the Tennessee wristband and then glove on the other hand. Opposite throwing hand. And then uh, just some of the statistics. My throw power and throw accuracy was, I think my throw power was 92 and then my accuracy was an 80. My speed was an 84. I think, I'm not sure if they jack up the injury rating at all compared to a pocket passer. That makes sense if they did just because when you are a pocket passer, obviously you're significantly slower. Uh, not as much uh, agility, aware, maybe the same awareness, but not a little bit less on the agility, uh, elusiveness, acceleration, things like that. But um, when you are a pocket passer, I believe it gives you might be a 94 on throw power and then a 92 on accuracy, or might be a 92 on both. Um, your throw on the run, I believe it's actually a little bit better. So, um, yeah, just give, just giving you guys a quick little. It, your, the picture of your girlfriend gets progressively better, obviously, as you go along. Uh, that's one of the things I actually didn't notice until about my third time playing this race for the Heisman mode. Uh, but that was way back in the day. This was actually one of my favorite games as a kid. So obviously it's 10 years later now, and it's weird to see. But, um, you know, I'll show you guys the Heisman right quick. So, sorry, I didn't mean to pause the recording, but, um, yeah. If you guys can see, it's uh, Matt Leiner, Reggie Bush, uh, Adrian Peterson, all those guys. Vince Young. And then give you guys a quick run through the top 25. Uh, Tennessee was number two that year. Weird to think. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one. So, yep. Oh, sorry. Not quite done yet. I think this one goes 739. But, yeah, that's just an outline of everything. And, uh, yeah, I'll come back with episode two. So, yeah, see ya.